Uh, now I gotta go down. Uh, don't go too fast, Loco. You can still mess this up easy peasy. Which one did I do again, actually? Was it this one? Was it that one right over there? Uh, crap. Was it all the way down? I need to translate some of it. There was a name tag right in front of it. Stepping, yeah, this is the one. Good, go. So we should be able to see now. Because I shot one of those things in its mouth. Which I guess means we have to go over there. What? Ooh. That's not good. Did I do the right thing? Yeah, but the light, I don't see the light of the thing. I don't want to return the scout because then I obviously lose the light altogether. That's why we went there in the first place. I don't know if this is the way forward or if I have to go further down. <sighs> oh, I can obviously look at Scout at the direction of the thing itself. That's way easier. The Scout is right over there. Uh. Crap, where did I come from? I have to go up through there. How in the world do I do that? Can I launch from here and actually make it? No! Woo! God dang. Uh, oh, no, bro. I don't know where to go. That's the mouth of that thing right there, isn't it? Can I? I made it. Oh. This is what we're here for. That was very dangerous. Don't have a lot of O2, don't have that much in general, but I made it. Whoever was it, uh, whoever was it when we ended last time in the anglerfish? Rules change. The anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. And Pi says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Rule update, it's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're at it or when they're it rotter. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and make the game more even. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says so or says go, the little fish sneak across to the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold and becomes the little fish. It's like the squid game. It's like the first game. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we just turn off our lights. And that would have solved the problem altogether. If anglerfish are blind, does that mean I'm an anglerfish? Great question by Weepuck. 
Because I miss things that are in the middle of my screen all the time. Dude, I had no idea I was an anglerfish. I never wanted to be one, but... I guess they're not entirely blind. Because otherwise the light wouldn't make much of a difference, huh? I missed something? Don't fucking tell me I missed something. What? No, dude, I... Mm -hmm. I can't go back there. Can I? Wait, I, I literally did? Dude, that sucks. Okay, I made it. There's more in the anglerfish room. There's little skeletons over here. I don't have any fuel anymore. What am I supposed to do though? Is there anything else that I need to find here? I don't think there is anything. I think I found everything. Apparently there is something that would allow me to go further up, but... Oh. I think I got bamboozled. Loco dead again? Feels like 10 times in 10 minutes? Nah, that's the point of the game, Marco. Although this place is not very chill, though. This, like, this planet we're currently on, since the, the sand is co constantly rising, it isn't very relaxing. It's a little... It's a little stressful. Blindfold rule was added because real anglerfish are blind. The rest of the anglerfish lined up against the wall. When the anglerfish said go, the little fish had to sneak across to the other side. Loco, have you ever been to Amsterdam? No, dude. Never been. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a half hour away. <sighs> Squid game does sound nicer than anglerfish game. I agree. Look, have you ever been to IKEA? Uh, yeah, I've even been to the IKEA in Amsterdam. Dude, this is amazing. It's a bucket list destination. The Ikea in Amsterdam? It looks like any other Ikea, dude. <laughs> You've never been to an Ikea? Really, Weebuck? <laughs> For some reason, uh, yeah, there's a lot of... I don't know if Finland actually exists. I've never been to Finland. Of course you get food at Ikea, dude. Yeah, you get at least the one euro hot dogs. Or the one euro ice cream cone. And the free coffee, okay? Like, that is, no, bare minimum. Of course. If you want to step it up, though, you buy, like, the four euro meatballs with, like, fries and stuff. Hell yeah. Free coffee? Yeah, yeah. If you have, like, one of those Ikea family cards, you get free coffee, dude. We live so close to an Ikea, as a fact, that, like, I have... We've been there literally just to get food. 
We would go there because we drove by it for like lunch and it'd be like total cost of like seven euro for the two of us. It's great. <laughs> WTF is wrong with you people? What do you mean, bro? You don't think it's possible to go to Ikea and not at the very least pick up batteries or like a scented candle? I am here to tell you that it is possible. <laughs> it's hard. But uh, it's possible. No, we live like 10 minutes away from uh, an Ikea. You need to drive to another city. Yeah. All right, we got to go to the high energy lab. Okay, I think once again, we're going to try... Does time actually stand still when I'm... I think I should probably do it quicker. We're going to, like, go to where I, I was just at. However, we're going to go all the way to the bottom. <laughs> Loco, what's, this, what's the point of this game? The point of this game is to have fun. Is there a flagship IKEA store in Amsterdam? <laughs> I don't know if there is such a thing as a flagship IKEA store. I am not sure. Maybe. IKEA sucks in America? What? Really? IKEA's pretty good. I like IKEA. Like, if you go too often to Ikea, it's not very fun. But every once in a while, that's not too bad. No, I don't want to land on the Ashen Twin. For certain things, Ikea is pretty great, man. Like, I wouldn't buy a kitchen there. I know a lot of people do, but... For, like, basic furniture and stuff, it's not bad, dude. Plus, Loran actually enjoys putting those things together. She actually quite, quite enjoys, like, building the Ikea furniture. Not me, dude. Not me. I have the patience of a fucking, like, I don't know, a cat? Was a good, what, what is an animal that has little, little patience? Squirrels? I'll be a squirrel. I found the hole. Oh, I'm going in. I made it. Okay, quick, go. We gotta go to the bottom. We gotta get to... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Loco, too fast. There's still this room, bro. Forgot about this. Uh, no, I'm just gonna double- No, no, stop it. Bring it back. Okay, right. I know how this thing works, but still I'm like a little hesitant. Okay, to the bottom. We should probably turn on the lights first, though. Whew, it's a magical probe. Now it's in the wall. to the bottom started from the bottom now we are almost there again all right I don't know what this door does the high energy lab that's what we wanted bro 
It's exactly what we're looking for. Follow the cable, 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 follow the... No, bro! What the- Huh! I don't think I flew in that, did I? Oh, jeez. I was going real well until that happened. Can I fly over that? I guess I have to be all the way at the top. Dude! How do I go past this? Do I have to wait until it fills up? I don't... W go around? Go around where? <laughs> wait. I think we wait until like it fills up a little bit more. And then we go through it. But I don't know, this might be an issue. Because I might suffocate. Watch out for the cacti, Loco. Thank you. Uh, I do all my StarCraft coaching to, uh, through Patreon, uh, Baker Street. But I do a very limited amount of slots. Come on! <laughs> Alright. Bro! My suit is the worst, man! I step my toe on it and like instantly... Okay. Be patient? What do you mean patience? What does this word mean? What?! Okay, 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 okay. Patience, loco. <laughs> How'd you feel about that, patience? Bro, this is not a good place to be, man. Oh my god, I don't like this. Okay, if I didn't have my suit punctured like a dozen times, I think I would have had plenty of oxygen. I don't know what to think of this. Uh, please have oxygen somewhere. Oh, jeez. Okay, maybe I did need to be ever so slightly more patient. Uh. Kind of dying here, guys. I'll be honest with you. I don't know if I took the wrong route, man. Oh! <gasps> No time for caution. GG. Woof. Nice. I didn't think I was gonna make it. I thought we were gonna get salty, and then, you know, I would get frustrated, and you guys be like, Ha! Look at this loser. Kek W, L, U, L. That sort of thing, you know? Rocker ch or rockers. <laughs> Rocker to show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the Whitehall station. Remy and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or simply a, a machine error. Okay. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering a black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Negative amount of time elapsing through the white hole? Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Hypothesis, it is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. It's a fucking stupid hypothesis, bro.
I mean, it's cool, don't get me wrong, but... I don't know where to put this thing. Oh, can I... Can I remove this one? Oh, yeah. An update. Our experiment has reproduced an anomaly in arriving and departure time, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than a, an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effort to render its visible to unaided eyes. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove efficient. Or sufficient. Of note, Rami, Yarrow requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. All avoidable energy, or available energy rather, has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Rami and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory, theory and practical application. So something can enter the black hole before it exits on the white hole end? Did we just invent time travel? Yeah, yeah, it exits before it enters. Is that what I said? Or did I say it the other way around? Oh, sorry. I thought the correct order. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it exits, it leaves it before it enters. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22-minute interval is possible. That is to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. Is that the time one cycle takes? I think it is. One loop takes two, 22 minutes. We've... wait, what? Oh. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential value. Okay. Hypothesis, create a 22 minute long interval, or creating one is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Rami and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy. Dude, just make a Dyson Sphere. It's easy. Don't worry about it. Um, I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy. A thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be the Ashen Twin. The energy is currently unavailable, you say? You're a gas pie. My palm was unintended, Rami, so I believe it is you who's error form. Alright, alright, alright. Science puns. New method? Yeah, have one of the Nomai run in a hamster wheel. Have they tried that? I'm already holding a scroll. Oh. The Ash Twin project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphori or metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between the Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project material. What if we use warp towers, like the one we have on the White Hole Station, to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical location? Boke, Root, and I uh, can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will be this will keep us busy. Okay. Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp location. The giant deep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone, and we could model the Timberheart Tower after a Geyser Mom. Okay. My gratitude to those who uh, who noted my imp wait imprecise in language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. Can't really stop reminding me. Okay, so the entire planet, the Ash Twin, is just a gigantic energy source? I agree, dude. That's what we should do in real life as well. We should just take a country, like, like Belgium, for example, and just cover it with concrete and then put it full of solar panels. 
I think we're thinking now, right? Like, I feel like this, you know, just dedicate some space to it. We don't need Belgium. Just, you know, put concrete on it. That'll power many places. Is Dita Hunter here? Okay, no one's, no, no one's here. The Belgians might object. Ah, don't worry about that. Belgium is already half filled with, like, concrete as it is. So we're already halfway there. It's shitty concrete for what it's worth, but... <laughs> this door will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running exp Oh! Oh, we're here! Oh shit, we're here! Wow, Loco, making fun of Belgium. I would never. Hey, Dita Hunter is here. Crap, guys. Everyone act cool. <laughs> guys, act cool. I didn't say that. Shh, guys. I'm just doing my civic duty as a Dutchman. Okay. Dude, I love Belgium. It's my favorite country. Belgium is so nice. Wait, I missed something at the bottom of the room? Did I really? Thank you for reminding me. He didn't see Kek W. Oh no. Oh no. So these are the symbols, I guess. Very cool. God, so 2D art in this game is actually very pretty. Like, this would actually, like, if you're a big fan of the game, this would make a... Some of this art would make an excellent, like, real-life poster. Oh, right, I could open this door. I forgot about that. I was still gonna do that. Like a phone wallpaper? Yeah. An NFT? No, dude, not a fucking NFT. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not big on NFTs, guys. I'll be honest with you. What? Striking it just if I missed anything over there. Wait. Warp cores? So there's ones with black holes? Ones with white holes? And then there's empty ones. A lot of holes, dude. Am I supposed to put those in a certain order? <laughs> Sounds like your kind of weekend. All right, then. I don't think the game has puzzles where I have to put them down in a certain order. Things? No, these things don't fit in there. Do they? No, these are diamonds. Is there any place I can put these? Put them in here. Whoa. Whoa. 
No, it is not what I meant, video game. Loco's trolling us? Well, I'm not trolling anyone, bro! I just don't know where to put it! Story of my life. Stop pretending, Loco. Oh, God. I'm not pretending anything, dude! Does he know? Oh shit, I think it's right there in the wall, isn't it? Do I put him over here? Hey, chat! First try, baby! I did it! God, I'm so smart. Now what? It's fine. I guess I have to do a black hole with a white hole, right? Oh my god, wait, what? Is this the experiment? I think that's the experiment. I don't think this was absolutely critical. Ha! Ha! Gentlemen. It's, uh, been an honor. Is that something I have to complete? Should I have put the white one on the one side and the black one on the other side? Do I now have to go all the way through all that other fucking area again and do this whole shit all over again? Or is it optional? I guess it's optional, right? But I might need the clue. I don't think I need to go back, right? Okay, okay. That would not be great. All around me are familiar faces. Worn out places. Worn out faces. Guys, we're gonna we're gonna get crushed. Post your F's in the chat. I can't save myself. Wait, actually, can I? I can go one floor up, but that doesn't really do me much good. Maybe I can actually go and explore the Ashen one for a second before like we ultimately die. Oh jeez. So at this point, guys, revert your- no, take your F's back. I'm sorry. Okay, you know what? We can go in here. This is gonna be a cozy little area. I'm ready. I'm ready. I don't think I have much of a choice. No, things don't escape black holes in real life. From what I understand. 
They kind of just chill there forever. Maybe one day we can all chill together in a black hole. Guys, that's gonna be fun. Like, at least, you know, our building blocks can chill over there. We can all be in, like, you know, one little compact area. That's gonna be fun. This is taking a long while, man. I never thought suffocation would be this slow. I should have never... Okay, instead we're gonna use our fuel as oxygen. Or our oxygen as fuel. Whatever, bro. Doesn't matter. Suffocation! No breathing! Don't give a... That was your cue, chat. This was your last resort. Nope, no? Okay. Yeah, the music meant that I was gonna die regardless. We're gonna see a lot of sand. Sand, 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 sand. Send on Glockta? Glockta? For a second I thought I was on the Papa Roach channel. <laughs> Thank you, Diaboli. I'll take that compliment. <gasps> <sighs> Bro. Jeez. Alright, let's go read through our log real quick. Glockta is definitely a badass, man. I don't know how many of you have read the first law books. But, uh... Good stuff. Hey, look. Now the Ash Twin actually shows something. I've been there, man. A gnome named Coleus mysteriously vanished from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed. Okay, I guess we'll go there real quick once again. I've already been there once, but... If we're not fast enough, again, everything will be filled up with sand. Very clever, though. Very unique, right? Like, it's uh, there's nothing really similar to this. And the story isn't boring either. Like, I was a little concerned it was maybe gonna get, like, kinda. kinda lame to, like, repeat over and over again. And it gets a little lame after you've played for, like, six hours straight. But, you know, you probably don't wanna be playing any game for six hours straight. Yeah, this game is, it, like, it's definitely not a rip-off. No, it's not a rip-off of anything. There's nothing quite like it. Very cool. It's like Fortnite? No, Fortnite is quite a bit different, man. Okay, so we're looking for the lake bed. Below this area. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, uh, I might not make it to the lake bed. But I guess I'll follow the path. Fortnite is a ripoff? No, dude. Fortnite was the first ever Battle Royale. There was no Battle Royale before Fortnite. I'm almost dead already. That's okay. We're just here for one thing and one thing only. 
Yeah, before Fortnite was around, we didn't even use forks and knives. All we used was spoons. Game changer, dude. I wonder if I'm even in the right place. Is this the lake bed thing? I have no idea. Maybe I misunderstand what, what I'm looking for. I don't understand the lake bed. I like I made it before the scent was here, and there's nothing there. So there's supposed to be a rock that disappears, right? That's kind of the story of it. I'm not sure. Does anyone happen to know what I'm looking for? Signal scope is very useful. How? Yeah, but I've already done this twice and I've ended up at the exact same spot at the exact same position. So I don't know. But I'm pretty sure I'm already too late again now. I was on the right path. There's one key thing to realize. Yeah, but now I'm too late though, is it? Am I not? I'm not sure. I'm now doing the same thing exactly twice. Yeah, the send is too high now. Hmm. I feel like I'm just gonna go over there and once again run into the exact same problem. I gotta go there as fast as I can. But it's then very unclear about what I'm looking for. Like if it wasn't for the fact that I'm streaming, I would not be I would not be going back there again right now. Like I would have made the assumption, okay, you know what? I've been there twice, looked for the exact same thing twice, ran into the same problem twice. There's nothing there. It's not very obvious anyways. Bit too fast. <sighs> Wonder if I'm already too late now. Probably not, but I should probably just use the autopilot, huh? Nice autopilot. Nice autopilot. Yeah, the other planets I've been on so far have been a little bit more chill. I think I like them a little bit better. This one is just a little... Uh, there's a lot on here, though. The Ashen uh, twin. Or I guess both of the twins. There's a lot to do. New subscriber detected. Yo! It's going on Rage Dragon. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. 
Yeah, yeah, if you fly into the sun, you're instantly dead. Sun's kinda hot. bit. Low hot, low hot. Ooh. Okay. Get out of here. Go to the North Pole. Unbuckle. Okay, so what am I gonna do differently, guys? Because <laughs> I feel like I'm literally gonna do the exact same thing again and then find nothing again. So we gotta go down. Do I just follow the path? I guess I'll follow the path. Well, I know the quantum rock can suddenly disappear, and it's supposed to be on this planet. That's all I know. The path just goes all the way around to the bottom. If I spend too much time wasting it here, I will have the bottom filled up. Okay, there's a staircase over here. What, what am I, what is the problem? What, what's the point here? I don't get it. Okay, so we're once again at the same location I've been to several times already, and there's nothing new here. Look, now the send is filling things up. What, like, for those of you that were recommending I go back down here again, what's the point? Yeah, it's like Schrodinger's rock. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the, the rock comes up with the sand, but I have no idea what I'm doing here, man. Like, I'm now here for the third time. It's deeper in the cave? Can't go deeper, man. Like, at some point, you you walk into a wall. I'm not sure what the point of this area is. leave that for now because I'm not sure <sighs> yeah maybe it is a maze so I now know how to yeah that's what I was thinking Charva um I now know how to go to the anglerfish, I think. Apparently, I have to, like, not have my light on? But the anglerfish are blind. So, like... I'm not exactly sure what... <laughs> Hmm. 
the blindfold rule was added because real anglerfish are blind. That's the cue. That's the clue. Like, once I get close to them, they chase me. So they seem to be able to see me. I guess they can hear me? Is that the point? Am I supposed to go out of my ship and fly around there? Hmm, maybe they can smell me. Oh. Huh. Maybe, uh... Yeah, maybe I should shake a shower for once. That'd be nice. I've taken a shower once, guys. It sucked, dude. Wouldn't recommend. I took a shower once and, uh... I lost my Shaman Earth Shield. Now I don't get take bonus healing. Yeah. Fucking like sucked, dude. Now I take more damage. From pretty much everything. You've been in the shower twice today, Drone Rush? Wow. Drone Rush is a very dirty boy. Can't believe this. You're thinking about going for a third? Why would you shower three times a day? <laughs> That's wild. All right, we'll try and go slower, guys. <laughs> Drum rush showers three times a day. You don't shower three times a week. There you go. The first two weren't really showering. Oh, okay. They were fake showering. Gotcha. <laughs> 